Help support Name Explain by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to the channel. The etymology for the Italian city of Venice isn't too clear for us. All we seem to know is that this name comes from the Veneti, a name of an ancient group of people who lived in this part of the world. Where the name for these people have come from, we aren't too sure. Yet, nevertheless, the name Venice has stuck around as the name for one of the most popular tourist destinations on the planet. And it's easy to see why Venice is so popular. I mean, I haven't been there myself, but just from looking at photos of this city, you can see it's a seriously unique part of the world. From its beautiful architecture, bridges, cobble streets, and of course, it's gone ridden canals. It makes me wonder how a city so unique like this could even be built to begin with. Venice's history seems to begin with the fall of the Roman Empire. The people of mainland Italy had enjoyed a prosperous life under Roman rule. However, when the empire came to an end, barbarians of northern Europe came upon these people. Of course, it would have been those in northern Italy who would have felt these forces first. They found refuge from these barbarians by establishing a settlement off the coast of Italy. It was in this isolation that these Italians could thrive and build up their own community. And on the 25th of March, 421, AD, Venice was formally created. It was a city built out of fear for what was happening in their homelands, but is now one of the most beautiful cities on our planet. And Venice's unique look has sparked comparisons across the globe. There are many places on planet Earth that have also been called Venice. There are tons of places in the United States of America that have been dubbed Venice. The states of Florida, Illinois, Washington, Louisiana, Missouri, Nebraska, New York, Ohio, and Utah all have a Venice in them. Though the most famous Venice, outside of the actual Venice, is probably the neighborhood of Venice in Los Angeles, California. California, including the famous Venice Beach. This Venice was founded in 1905 by a tobacco millionaire named Abbott Kinney. Kinney transformed what was a marshy beach land into a top tourist attraction and still is to this day. Due to the canals he constructed, it was referred to as the Venice of America, and now it has been shortened to just Venice. Yet there aren't Venices in just Italy and the USA. There's a hamlet called Venice in Alberta, Canada, and even a village in Zimbabwe that has this name too. There's even replicas of Venice in Las Vegas and Tokyo Disneyland. Well, actually it's in the Disney Sea Park but shush. It seems that wherever you go in the world you will find a Venice one way or another. And when somewhere isn't actually called Venice, they can have Venice in their nickname. Many places are referred to as being the Venice of their geographic location. Many places have been dubbed the Venice of the North, such as Amsterdam, Copenhagen, and even Birmingham here in England. The Venice of the East is a title that has been given to cities in Asia like Osaka and Bangkok. Shanghai has been called the Venice of the Orient. Avalio, the Venice of Portugal. Fort Lauderdale, the Venice of America. Recife, the Brazilian Venice. And there's even Malé Potvin, a marshland in France known as the Green Venice. Like I said, you really can't seem to escape Venices across the globe. Why are so many places even referred to as a Venice? Well, it seems because in all these places, places, waterways and canals are aplenty, much like the original Venice in Italy. However, while it's all well and good having settlements named after Venice or having nicknames that mention Venice, they pale in comparison to a whole country on our planet being named after Venice. Yep, that's correct, we have a whole country on our planet called Venice. Well, kind of. It's not literally called Venice. If you look on a map, you won't find a country simply labelled Venice. However, its name does sound somewhat similar to Venice, and it's none other than the South American country of Venezuela. Venezuela is a northern country of South America. To its west is Colombia, Guyana to its east, and Brazil to its south. It's over 900 square kilometers in size, with a population of over 30 million. The country is also located within the tropical belt, and because of this, the nation has a huge rare biodiversity. Animals from crocodiles, bears, bird life, anteaters, and even sloths can be found in the nation. And of course, people could be found in the nation too, over 30 million as I just mentioned earlier. Someone who's from Venezuela is unsurprisingly called a Venezuelan. However, the most popular ethnic group of Venezuela is Mestizo. This is an ethnicity and a name I'd never heard of before, so I decided to look into it. The name apparently refers to those of mixed ancestry of various European and indigenous peoples of America, and apparently means mixed in Spanish, which I personally found interesting. I'm always excited to come across a name I didn't know beforehand. Anyway, how on earth did this nation in South America end up being named after a city in Italy? Well, for this name to be explained, we need to go back in time to 1499. It was in this year that Italian explorer Amelago Vespucci, yes, that one, and Spanish navigator Alonso de Ojeda led a naval expedition in South America, specifically in the northwestern coast of what is now Venezuela. It was while on this expedition they came across a village built by the native Anu people of this land. However, there was something unique about this village. It wasn't like any old village. Instead of being built on land, the houses and buildings of this village were built on stilts over the waters of Lake Maracaibo. These kinds of houses are actually known in Spanish as a palafito. The residents of this village moved around their settlement via bridges and canoes. This of course rang a bell in Amerigo Vespucci's head. With the settlement being on water and people getting around via bridges and boats, only one location come to mind for an Italian like Vespucci. That of course being Venice in his homeland of Italy. 
and it was due to this similarity to Venice as to why this part of the world would end up being named after the city. When Amerigo first named it, he dubbed it Venezuela, which means Little Venice in Italian, though as the area came under Spanish rule, the Italian Zuola suffix was changed to the Spanish Zuela suffix, which in Spanish is a diminutive suffix. So yes, the name Venezuela actually means Little Venice, which is kind of funny to modern ears, as while that initial village they discovered was way smaller than actual Venice, as the years have gone by, the country that came from this discovery and bears the name of Little Venice is way bigger than actual Venice. Perhaps their name should be changed around or something to be more accurate to their sizes. Though, as fun as this story is, and the fact that it's become the most popular explanation of how the name Venezuela came to be, it might not actually be true. There's actually another etymology for the nation's name, and it comes once again from the same 1499 trip, specifically a member of their crew, someone by the name of Martin Fernandez de Encisco. In his writings called Summer de Geografia, he wrote how while exploring this part of the world, they discovered an indigenous people who were called the Venic and that the name Venezuela derives from the name of these people, much like how Venice itself was named after the native people now that I think about it. However, it's the Little Venice etymology that's picked up the most traction and is the one people genuinely accept to be the true etymology. And besides, it's a really fun story about how this country got its name. And if there's anything we love most here on Name Explain, is when something has a really interesting fun story as to how it got its name. As a nation, Venezuela was under control of the Spanish. However, by the 1800s, this started to change. To begin with, in 1806, a failed revolution in Venezuela took place, and while this didn't work out for the revolutionaries, it planted the seeds in the people's mind that independence was possible, and Venezuela was actually quite ahead of the times in regards to claiming independence in South America. The first country to claim independence in South America was Colombia in 1810, and here we have a failed revolution in Venezuela just four years before that. Two years after that failed revolution, however, in 1808, Venezuela got some unlikely assistance in their fight for independence. This assistance was in the form of Napoleon Bonaparte and his invasion of Spain in which he put his own brother Joseph on the throne as King of Spain. This upheaval of monarchy in Spain threw the nation and its colonies into chaos. Many of the people of Spain and its colonies were still loyal to their previous king and didn't know how to react to this change. This chaos grew in Venezuela too when a representative of King Joseph Bonaparte came to the land and demanded that Venezuela recognises him as their king. In 1810, this led to the people of Venezuela demanding self-rule free from the Spanish monarchy, aka the Bonapars. This resulted in provisional independence being signed on the 19th of April 1810 and full independence on July 5th 1811, making it the third country in South America to gain independence, just behind Paraguay and Colombia. However, it did remain part of a republic known as Gran Colombia up until 1930, and then in 1945 it was recognised as a country and joined the United Nations. In 1999, they took on the full official name of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. The Bolivarian part of this name comes from Simon Bolivar, a hugely important figure across South America and helped many nations gain independence there. In fact, the six South American nations of Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Panama, which yes I know isn't technically South America, Peru and Bolivia are sometimes collectively known as the Bolivarian countries, as their ideas of being a republic stem from Simon Bolivar's ideals. And of course, Bolivia itself is named after Simon Bolivar, which I think we talked about in a previous video? I, I can't remember anymore. Future Patrick while animating this video will find out for you. And that is the story of how a country in South America ended up being named after a city in Italy, due to the similarities between a water-filled village there and a water-filled city in Italy. And of course, the name Amelago Vespucci was Italian himself, so I think that gives it another reason as to why it was named after Venice. I personally like to think that if an English person discovered it, the country to this day would still be called Little Birmingham. Venezuela was suggested by Pedro Marcelino Figueroa and Grey Computer, and thanks to their suggestions, they will now be honoured as Name Explained's patron saint of Venezuela. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a Name Explained video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just one dollar a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video, and you too could be a Name Explained Patreon saint. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Name Explain depends on small monthly donations from fans like you to help keep the channel running. Just a small amount of $2 a month helps in a huge way, grants you patron exclusive Name Explain extras, and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you.